What's up guys, I hope everybody is doing well and today we're going to talk about who actually can win the Ballon d'Or in 2022. We all know that Karim Benzema is the favorite to win it this year, but we are going to discuss about other players and if the likes of Robert Lewandowski, Kevin De Bruyne and even Kylian Mbappe have any chance of getting their hands over the coveted trophy. Leo Messi has won it seven times, Cristiano Ronaldo has won it five times. And the trophy has been in Spain since 2009 and most probably will stay in Spain this year as well. But we will take a look at if there is any chance for Robert Lewandowski, Mohamed Salah, Kylian Mbappe or Kevin De Bruyne to actually end this Barcelona and Real Madrid dominance in this video. Now before we dive into the alternative winners other than Karim Benzema, first we have to understand the changes that the Ballon d'Or committee has made to the evaluation criteria in order for awarding who the best male player of 2022 will be. Up until now, France football presented the Ballon d'Or as a calendar year award, which basically meant that they looked at the performances of the players and evaluated their stats from the January of one year all the way up until December. But starting from this year, the French Award Association has decided that they are going to make it a seasonal award, which actually turns out that they are going to give the award on the basis of the entire season. A typical football season starts from August of one year and ends at the May of the next year, which shows that the award that we are going to see on October the 17th will actually be based on the performances of players from August 2021 all the way up to May of 2022. As a consequence, all the performances of players that they have been doing this season will not be taken into consideration when giving this award. Therefore, the three hat-tricks that Erling Haaland had in the Premier League will play no role in his ranking. And that is also the reason that Cristiano Ronaldo has been shortlisted into the 30-man. Despite having a poor start to this season, whereas Lionel Messi was not included even after having a decent start this term, because of his big underperformance last season. But with all of these aside, let's now come to the million dollar question of who else can win the Ballon d'Or other than Karim Benzema. And here is my honest opinion. In my opinion, Benzema is going to win it. So this video and whatever its conclusion comes out to be will basically be about who is going to finish second. Even though the title of this video said who will come first and win it other than Benzema, honestly, I think Benzema is going to win it and whatever the conclusion comes out to be will be for the runners-up of the Ballon d'Or. So when we are talking about the competitors, let's start with the one who is the least probable to win it this year and that is Kevin De Bruyne. Now don't get me wrong, here the KDB is a fantastic player and his assists have always mesmerized us, but he's a midfielder. And looking at the previous stats of the Ballon d'Or winners, I need to be blatant honest, the chances of a midfielder winning it this year is very bleak. Luka Modric reached the World Cup final in 2018 and his heroics awarded him the Ballon d'Or even though that was very controversial. Before that, we will have to go back to way back in 2007 when Kaká won it for AC Milan. But even then, Kaká was not truly just a midfielder. He used to score amazing goals. Now, KDB scores amazing goals. But with the dominance of Kylian Mbappe, Robert Lewandowski and especially Karim Benzema, his chances of winning it this year is uh, really really less but without speculating any much let's now come and break down the stats of kdb and see how well he performed last season kevin de bruyne scored a total of 19 goals and assisted 14 times in 45 matches out of those 15 were in the premier league two in the champions league one in the fa cup and one in the efl cup he won the premier league with manchester city but failing to win the Champions League and also not winning the FA Cup and the EFL Cup I think will go on as the demerits which will eventually lead to him coming fourth in the Ballon d'Or. Now let's compare him to his closest competitor that is Kylian Mbappe who I think will come third. Mbappe scored 39 goals and assisted 26 times in 46 matches winning the Ligue 1 and the Coupe de France which by all means uh, is a superior stat when we compare it to Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, De Bruyne did it in the Premier League, the number one ranked league on the planet, 
whereas Mbappe did it in Ligue 1, which for some time was even below the English second division in terms of revenue and also was like sixth in the overall rankings below the Eddie League. But I still think that Mbappe has a higher chance of having a podium finish than Kevin De Bruyne. Now finally we are left with the best of the lot. The best two, Karim Benzema and Robert Lewandowski. Now Lewandowski scored 50 goals in 46 matches while winning the Bundesliga title. Now, certainly we cannot boast about winning the Bundesliga given the fact that Bayern have been winning that for the last 9 years. But still, 50 goals in 46 matches, that simply puts you above Kylian Mbappe and Kevin De Bruyne for sure. I know Benzema is going to win the Ballon d'Or because he won the Champions League and the La Liga and he also won the PCC. But still, Robert Lewandowski's performance last season was phenomenal as ever. And so I think he's going to come second with Karim Benzema obviously going to win it. But if there is anybody else who can win the Ballon d'Or other than Karim Benzema, then it surely has to be Robert Lewandowski. And on October the 17th, the player who is going to come second in my opinion will be Robert Lewandowski.